This is, uh, this is Maria. She is my squirrel watcher, and uh, she doesn't have much to say on the story, but uh, she'd rather be out here as she is right now looking at squirrels. So, Maria, I need to pick up, so you need to, you need to run along. Um, so the, the second part of the scene is, is memories when she was, when she was a, not a child, um, when she was a young adult, a young Hynerian, so to speak. Uh, she goes to this house, and I'm not going to say who it was or what it was she was going to this house for. We'll, we'll leave that for perhaps a future chapter. But let's just say that she took the initiative um, and stepped out on a limb, so to speak, to, to go to this, this place. And she was uh, full of trepidation as to what was going to happen. And when she got there, there's the note. And, and the note is... Sorry, um, it's, it's, you know, we're not here. And as, as we see in the chapter, it, it's not just, gosh, you're not here, and I'll set another appointment. Uh, you'll took it personally, uh, took it personally in a very hard way. Um, and then obviously gets herself in the trouble has to call her father who comes get gets her and then we see this scene that is not entirely spelled out that he's very upset when he gets her home um, so let me let me kind of take you through uh, what inspired that I'll leave what Yule is experiencing and what exactly happened to Yule uh, for future chapters, but uh, the inspiration behind that, when I was 19, maybe 20 years old, I had, oh, 18 months before that, suffered uh, the loss of my first love. And uh, the, perhaps there's a lot of truth to uh, the first cut is the deepest, but it was, it was something that took a rather significant amount of time to uh, emotionally recover from. And at this point in my life, I had not recovered. I had a date um, with a uh, young woman and showed up, pick her up. Uh, and it was a porch, just like the one described in this scene. And when I got to the door and opened up the screen door, there was a note. And, and the note was, something's come up, sorry. You know, maybe another time. And so, um, that was, that was not what I needed to see at that juncture of my life. And so I decided to seek uh, as what might be called uh, liquid uh, satisfaction to the uh, pain and agony that was, was boiling inside of me. Uh, n not one of the more wiser choices in my life. And um, about three hours or so later, when I could barely walk. I'd somehow found myself at a restaurant and had eaten and came back out and couldn't find the keys. And I called my father, said, I've lost the keys to the truck. Can you come get me? He did. The keys, by the way, were on the dashboard. I was so out of it, I, I never couldn't find them. Um, I was in pretty bad shape. And, uh, what upset my father, and rightly so, is when I called him, I didn't say, Dad, uh, I can't drive. Um, I'm intoxicated out of my mind. Would you come get me? I said, Dad, I can't find the keys. Can you come get me? And so um, he felt that I had uh, been less than forthcoming and honest. And I, I suppose, uh, in the reality, I was. Of course, the state I was in, I was, I was not in any condition to, um, to be rational or logical. Uh, I just knew I needed to get home and I, and I, and I needed his help. So, um, so that, that was the inspiration between that second part, her memories of, of being abandoned, uh, the emotions that stirs up, uh, the contrast between her and her sister, and we've seen just a little bit of that, that contrast that her sister was 
quote unquote, the chosen one, the bright one, the one that the parents uh, put all their hopes and dreams in. And Yule was the black sheep of, uh, of that family, that particular situation. So um, we see a little bit of that with Allie at the, at the end. And what's interesting there is I wanted to make sure that Allie was not portrayed as um, I didn't want to, I didn't want the relationship to be seen as rivals. Um, we haven't seen that yet, and, and we're not going to see it. Allie and Yule had a good relationship, very different. Uh, they were treated differently by their parents, uh, but but we do see from the doc scene, as as you guys remember, um, what Allie was able to do with regard to. Um, uh, putting her sister above herself and, and doing the right thing. So it was a good relationship there. Um, having said that, I, I think I will uh, stop this uh, video commentary at this point, and uh, I will see you guys on the blog.